Hi, my name is George San Antonio, and today I'll be doing a full assessment. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, I'm George, I'll be here today. I'll be with you in just a moment, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Okay. See? Okay. All right. Can you tell me your name, David? Brianna, 12, 15, 1995. And what are we here for? I'm here for my physical. And what time is your appointment? 2:15. Okay. So I've noticed that the patient is alert to person, place, and time. Um, her speech appears regular and uh, normal. Her appearance is also normal and appropriate. Um, okay. So do you have any pain today? No. Any uh, medical history? Any allergies or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. Great. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full assessment. We're going to get your weight. Night, and then we'll come back and I'll work on the assessment, okay? Okay. So if you want to just come with me right now. Yeah. I'll have you just walk over to the scale. And right now I can assess her gait, which appears to be normal. She has good posture. Anything else? So if you can just take your shoes off for me, and I'll be step up on the scale. Okay, good. Just step back one second. Okay, step up for me. Okay, perfect. You can put your down. And now with this information, I'm able to use to calculate the patient's BMI. All right, Brown. Now I'll just have you wait one second. I'll be walking to me. Can you walk heel to toe for me? Perfect. Can you walk on your toes, please? Okay, keep coming. And just walk on your heels for me. Perfect. Great. Okay. Step back in here. And before you sit down here, I'm going to test your balance, okay? So if you just keep your arms down, your feet together, and just close your eyes, all right? We'll do this for about 20 seconds. So, what the Okay, great. That's the Romberg test. Uh, now, if you wouldn't mind, can you just bend over for me? I'm just going to check your spine. Okay, great. All healthy. It looks like her spine is in line. There's no obvious scoliosis, lordosis, or kyphosis. And then check her hips. Her hips are good, too. They are in line. All right. You can have a seat for me. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, just take off your, your shoes and socks. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm just going to test uh, a couple motor functions, okay? Uh, can you put your arms up for me, straight up? Put them down. Can you roll your wrist? Put them forward. Can you kick your legs out? Can you roll your ankles? Great. Uh, can you stick your arms up for me, just put them straight up? Can you push against me? And push down. Can you lift your leg? And the other. Can you do it against me? And again. Kick out against me? Okay. And pull back. And same thing, just lift your feet, push down, and pull. Okay, great. Um, your physical, uh, your motor physical is pretty good. I'm gonna test your cranial nerves now, right? Can you puff out your cheeks for me? Can you smile? Can you frown? Can you raise your eyebrows? Can you shrug your shoulders? Okay, good. Can you stick out your tongue? And can you wiggle it side to side? Okay, great. Um, great cranial nerves. Um, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start to assess your head. Um, so again, just I'm going to inspect the area. Um, hair appears, you know, clean, free of infestation. Head doesn't look like there's any lesions or masses or anything. Um, now I'll palpate the scalp. Okay. I don't notice. Uh, there's no masses. There's no bruising. Or I don't. Uh, I'll check the skin. Temperature is warm. Color is pink. That's good. Uh, for now, I can check skin turgor on the collarbone. That's good. Color comes back, uh, skin comes back elastic, which is good. Uh, so we'll start, uh, I'll start the eyes here. Uh, I noticed that uh, her sclera is white. Um, it appears to be, 
the conjunctiva are pink, there's no drainage, the eyes are symmetrical, uh, pupils are round, full. Cool. I'm going to do a couple eye tests, okay? I'm going to have you just look right at me, okay? Okay, good. Pupils, pupils have reacted. Okay, good. Pupils are equal and reactive to light. I'm going to test your combination. So just look at the pen for me, okay? Right here. Great. Keep following it. Okay, great. So pupils are perla. Okay. I'm going to start now. Uh, I'll look at her ears. Ears look symmetrical. Um, on inspection, there's no drainage coming from them. Uh, I'll palpate. I'll palpate the pen. Okay. No deformities. There's no tenderness. If I had an otoscope, I could look inside the ear uh, by pulling the pinna up and back, and I'd be looking for the tympanic membrane, which would be uh, like a translucent gray color. Okay. Moving on to her nose. As your nose is midline, no obvious deformity. Uh, further inspecting, there appears to be no drainage from her nose, and I can test for a deviated septum. Do you wouldn't mind just cover her nostril? Great. We'll go off. Okay, the other side, please. Go ahead. Great. So her uh, nose is painted, which is great. Uh, I'm going to take my pen here. I'm going to take a look inside your mouth, okay? I notice right away that the lips are pink. Um, you know, the color's good. They're not cracked at all. Keep them around for me. Okay, great. I'm looking at, do you have any dentures? Okay. The teeth look good. I can see the hard palate, the soft palate. Stick out your tongue for me, please. Great. Can you say ah? Uh. Okay. You need to do a lizard move. Um, you know, colors pink, moist. Everything looks normal in the mouth there. Now we'll move on to assess the neck. So looking at the neck here, um, trachea appears midline and symmetrical. Uh, no obvious deformities here. I can palpate the trachea. Okay, everything feels normal. Uh, right in the front then here, you can test the thyroid. It doesn't feel swollen or enlarged at all. It's not painful, right? Okay. And then I would also test the lymph nodes while we're here, the pre and post auricular lymph nodes. Just palpate those. Is the submaxillary okay. and supraclavicular, and there's no swelling or anything wrong filling that. Okay. Uh, from then we'll move on to respiratory. Um, I notice she's sitting here. She looks like she's breathing okay. There's no barrel chest um, at all. Breathing's uh, you know regular. Um, I would in palpate the chest. I would go in between the intercostal spaces. You never want to do it in both. So I'd be feeling here. Okay. Okay. I'll move along to the front here. All right. I'm noting no masses. There's no tenderness. Okay. We'll come along to the front here, and then I'll percuss. Same thing, go on the intercostal spaces. Okay. Good. And that's four spots on women. Okay. All right. And I am hearing resonance, which is, which is good. That's what we expected here. And then I'll percuss the back. Okay. Going between bone. We can only work so much with the, uh, the wire. Okay. After uh, after percussing, we're going to oscillate. Oscillate. All right. You take a deep breath for me, okay? Breath sounds so far are clear bilateral, and we'll do the same on the back.
Okay. Uh, and then there's one more spot on the right side here. We're going to listen to the third loop. Okay, great. That's clear, too. And while we are back here, I'm going to assess for tactile affirmatives. I'm just going to have you say the word 99, okay, when I put my hands on you. Just go ahead. 99. Okay. 99. And one more time. 99. Okay, good. And the vibrations did decrease the lower I went. I'm also going to check for thoracic expansion. Uh, I'm going to place my hands down here and just have you take a deep breath, okay? And one more for me. Okay, great. Now we'll move on to cardiovascular. So if you want, you can go back in. Okay, great. Uh, the bed should be at a 45 degree angle. And uh, right away, I can check her for JVD, jugular vein distension. I'm noting nothing so far. Uh, jugular veins look normal, they're symmetrical. Um, they're symmetrical. So now uh, I'm going to check her pulse points first. I'm going to start here at the temporal. Okay. We'll check the carotid one at a time. Okay, good. We'll check the brachial. Okay. And the radial. Okay, good. All fossils are noted and strong. While I'm here at the hands, I'm going to check for any pinning edema in the extremities. And uh, none are noted. I will check for capillary refill. And I'll press on the nail, and they should refill within three seconds. In which they are. There's also no clubbing of any of the uh, fingers. Okay, that's good. And uh, we'll do the other one from over here. And same thing. I'm noting no pitting edema on the extremities. And calf refill is all there. Okay, good. Uh, continuing with the pulse points, we have the femoral, which we're not going to check. Uh, there's the popliteal, which is on the outer out aspect, behind the knee. Okay, those pulses would be present. Then check the tibial pulse, back here, in the inner part of the foot. Okay, pulses are noted. And the same thing here, this is the pedal pulse. And the pulse is noted strong. All are equal and bilateral. Uh, while we're down here again, she does a nail polish, but we could check for cap refill. Okay, good. And same thing, no pinning edema is noted. Uh, so we'll take my stethoscope here. And I'm going to check for bruise in her carotid artery using the metal. Okay, not noted. Uh, now I'm going to listen to the, the different uh, heart sounds here. Uh, first here, on the right sort of border, second intercostal space, is the aorta. Okay, moving directly across is the pulmonic. Okay, third intercostal space is herbs point. Fourth intercostal space is the tricuspid. And midclavicular, fifth intercostal space is the mitral. That's harder on women. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that process with the belt this time. Four. And the tricuspid. Okay, good. Uh, that also is where, if any of the pulses were irregular and unequal, I would listen uh, for a minute to assess the pulse. All right. After cardiovascular, we're going to move on to abdominal. <laughs> Great. And 
while they have you lay you down. I'm just going to do the Babinski's reflex, okay? You're going to come up the foot, and it should curve, good. Same thing, come up the foot, and it should curve, good. Now, have you experienced any nausea, vomiting, diarrhea? No. In your abdomen, no? Any pain? No. Okay, good. Uh, so I'll inspect the abdomen first. And uh, I notice, you know, there's no, uh, no organs are coming up, there's no swelling, uh, coloration is good and everything. Uh, second, I would auscultate. So I'll take my stethoscope again. And you want to start in the right lower quadrant. Listen for at least five to 30 clicks or gurgles. Uh, if you do not hear anything in any quadrant, you're listening to five minutes per quadrant uh, for a total of 20 until you hear bell sounds. I'm going to start right here. Sound, uh, vowel sounds are present. Next, I'm going to percuss. Just let me know if this hurts, okay? I'm going to start in the same quadrant, the right little quadrant. Okay. okay, good. And that's the timpani that we're looking for. And the last thing, the most invasive that we're going to do is we're going to palpate. Uh, we'll do shallow palpation at first, about half an inch. Let me know if this hurts, okay? We'll do some light palpation, feeling for any lumps or nodules or any hardened organs. Okay, good. Any pain at all? No. I'm going to go a little deeper, right? And a deep palpation from uh, like two, two inches or so. Okay, good. And same thing. No, uh, no guarding. No swollen organs. And that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and sit you up. At this point, your assessment will be complete. Go ahead. Thank you.